guys, I'm back. Um, I recently, on well, by recently I mean I hooked up a few hours ago, my uh, NES, or not NES, my uh, Nintendo 64, and I was going through like some boxes and I found a few uh, N64 games. One of them I haven't even played for an eternity. Um, I played GoldenEye, which I haven't even touched since I was like, what, 13, 10, somewhere around that age span. But I wanted to play a game that I haven't even, I literally haven't even really looked at for years now. That game is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Now, I actually kind of like this game, but uh, they, they had some problems. Like, uh, there's one stage I could not get past. It's like, you're not supposed to get caught, but I could not get past it. I tried, I tried, I tried. I even did, tried to do it on the PC version, but I had no luck. So. Anyways, let's check out Rainbow Six for the N64, and I hope you don't mind me capturing from my webcam again. Alright, let's hope it works. Uh, well, um, huh. Damn it. Let's try that. Um, one second. Alright, after cleaning it, I actually got it to work. Surprised how much dirt that wasn't in there. Oh, Sapphire made this game. Did they make that Nintendo or that like a? Uh, let's take a look at the credits. Uh, see, uh, I just want to see who worked on the music. Oh, there's no credits for music, is there? Oh, here we go. Um, see, uh, no, nothing for music. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Eric Nunemaker. Anyways, I was going to say, yeah, they're the same guys who made, uh, um, James Bond on the Game Boy. Anyways, new campaign. I haven't made a page for this game. Again, this is like the first time I've ever played this for a while. So, uh, I'm just going to execute. Saving police wait. Um, so, uh, what's the recruit? Yeah, I want to play easy. I haven't played this for a while. No Tango's in sight. <laughs> I remember that. But you got this guy that follows you. Um, these graphics are fucking terrible. I mean, even for Nintendo 64, I mean, I would expect a little bit better. I'm not expecting, like, fucking Sunsoft NES graphics, you know, of the N64 era. I'm, I'm saying, you know, like, something decent. This is not decent. So everything's like, look, like, 2D fucking trees and shit. I mean, the fuck is this? I do like how you get this, like, little map in the corner here. I, I really like that. I think it's a pretty cool feature because that way you, know, you kind of know where you're going. Um, dude, stop making so much noise. I'm going to fucking shoot you. Oh, I just saw a guy. Uh, or at least my crosshair is locked up somewhere. Oh. I got him. <laughs> wow. Just playing this game brings back so many memories even though I didn't play it all the time. But I did play it sometimes. Now, I don't really like how the D-pad controls the movement, but at the same time, I do like how you can use the joystick to look up and down. Um, I, I don't know if you can invert the controls. Personally, I like it when uh, when you don't do that. But, um, well, on N64, I don't care, but here, it's like down on the control stick. Moves, you're down. You got down. Oh, yeah, tingle down. Um, and I know you can pick blocks in here. I just don't remember how. Then they got that music. Oh yeah, you can have your guy unlock the door for you, I think. Changing weapon, um... Shit, I don't... Wait, don't, don't you press like that L button? No, no, no! No! Oh! <laughs> I love that music that plays when your guy gets killed. Well, the hostage was killed? Well, fuck that. All right, I'll give it one more try. Anyways, um, I like the music that plays though. Um, it's like do 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 do. If I remember right, that song is also in the Fear version. But uh, also, I don't think there's any way you can run, is there? I don't know. I, I think you can only walk. But anyways, um, actually no. Oh, you hold the R button. That was a complete guess. Um, you hold the R button to run. If you really want to run. Contact. Got him. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna try Oh Oh, I don't know what he 
he said there. Got him! Come on, dude. Get over here. Like, I know, like, at least in the computer version, they could open stuff for you. Oh, there we go. Now he does it. For some reason, he didn't do it before, but, uh... I like that suspenseful music. Oh, let's see the red target. I don't know if you can see it, but that's, like, we're an enemy, so... Just go in here and... Boom. So I like how the game also gives you that information. Overall, I actually like this game, but like I said, it does have a few problems that... You know, I w that I could live with that. Like I said, the, the one mission, I just could not get past it. There was actually one that I did eventually get past, but it took me a long time. There's like, you had to prevent the terrorists from shooting the hostage, and you might see that I'm doing it, like, pretty fast, but, uh, yeah, oh, shit. Um, shit, I don't know how to, you're supposed to, I know you're supposed to, like, untie them and shit, but I don't even know how to do that. Um, shit. Oh, uh, L turns on your night vision. Um. Uh. uh let me try throwing a grenade or something. Um. Oh, flashbang. Um. I never really bothered to use those, so maybe the game would be a little bit easier if I did that. Um. Yeah, figuring out the controls are just... I don't know, man. I, I don't know how you're supposed to free the hostage, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to untie them. Anyways, I don't know. So I'm just going to leave her alone. And um, and uh, actually, the computer version I remember has blood. I don't know why that's funny. Oh, there's a fucking cockroach down there. No, because the shitty camera quality, you probably can't see it. But uh, anyways, I don't know. Maybe you don't need to untie them, but I thought I remember that you were supposed to. Um, so I'm going to try going down to the basement, and, uh, where a lot of YouTube trolls live, and we'll see. Tango down. Tango down. Um. I like how your guy makes so much noise, it's like he's trying to get you caught. Uh, alright, well, I'll just go. Now, the FPS rate is actually pretty good, I guess. There's nothing right home about, but, uh, it's good. Um, oh, L changes your magazine, I guess that's, oh, you press, wait, oh, you press right to open the door, okay, or no, up, up, right, down, oh, but left deactivates your, well, fuck, well, I, I didn't know that, I'm sorry. Sounds like he says you're arrested for life, it's like, how can you do that when you're dead? Alright, so I got him, and... Oh, I did it! I fucking beat it! <laughs> that stupid looking cutscene. So anyways, I give this game a 3 out of 5. Like I said, it's a pretty enjoyable game, but the graphics aren't all that good, and... Um, you know, I never mentioned the music. Like I said, I, I like the, the thing with death music, it's a little funny, but, uh... It's, you know... Yeah, it's not anything to write home about, let's just say. And, uh, so we'll give it a point, because it does fit the music. It actually does sound, like, kind of military-ish, and it's a good quality. Um, but, uh, of course, you know the Rainbow Six series continue, you know, like, um, what is it? Rainbow Six Vegas or something? So, I never read the Rainbow Six novels, but, um, I'm sure they were pretty good. So I'll just try my hand at this last mission here, and I'll, I mean, this video's already nine minutes long. This was like my favorite message, message, what the fuck? Um, mission, even though I can not really beat it a lot, I just like it. Free Europe! Um, also I know there's a way to jump, I think, or not, I don't really remember, I think there is. So like I said, um, if you see this game for like five bucks, uh, the price tag in mine faded, so I don't remember how much I got. I think it was ten bucks. But um, anyways, if you see this game for like five bucks at like a thrift store or something, I would say pick it up. It's it. I'd say it's worth five bucks. But if you can avoid getting it for that much, go for it. You know. Now here you have to hold down the button to pick down to pick the lock. That's cool. I mean. 
I mean, that's kind of realistic, right? And, uh, yeah, when you open the door, it plays that song. Dum! Like, oh yeah, you press up, I think, to climb up. There we go. So yeah, you hold down the up button for that, too. So the up button, I guess, is kind of like your action button. Top secret. Of course, you can't open that. Oh, this room gave me hell, man. Because there's guys on the top! Oh god. Yeah, uh, they, these guys on the top always used to kill me, so... I guess I've really improved since then, huh? Oh! Oh! It's <laughs> not music. I, I'm sorry, it's just funny. So anyways... What? Oh yeah, see this mission, this mission gave me, gave me L because they always kill the hostages, you never get the chance to fucking react. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Of course, peace out, and guess what game's next? Well, I'll show you the cartridge if that helps any. Have a good one. Oh, and ignore the McDonald's bag.